Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 7 chapter 3 simple equations unit exercise. See now first one, choose the correct answer. In that first question is which of the following numbers satisfy the equation minus 6 plus 7 that equals to minus 10. Now let us see the solution. Given equation we have written minus 6 plus 7 that equals to minus 10 plus 6 added on both sides. That are minus 6 plus 6 plus m that equals to minus 10 plus 6. Minus 6 plus 6 cancel. That implies m equals to minus 10 plus 6. Opposite sign is there. We have to do subtraction. Keep minus symbol. 10 minus 6 is 4. So our answer is option C minus 4. See now first question, second sum, the equation having minus 2 as solution is, they have given 4 options, option A, x plus 2 equal to 5, option B, 7 plus 3x equal to 1, option C, 2x plus 3 equal to 7, option D, 2 into x plus 1 equal to 4. Let us see the solution. Here in the options they are given 4 equations. Let us solve all the 4 equations and find which equation is having solution as minus 2. First equation x plus 2 equal to 5 plus 2 on transposing it becomes minus 2. So x equal to 5 minus 2 that implies x equal to 3 which is not equal to minus 2. So it is not a solution. See now second equation 7 plus 3x equal to 1. 7 on transposing it becomes minus 7. So 3x equal to 1 minus 7 that implies 3x equal to 1 minus 7 is minus 6. Here into 3 on transposing it becomes divided by 3. So x equal to minus 6 by 3. So the answer is minus 2. So option B is our solution. Let us see remaining two equations also. Third equation 2x plus 3 equal to 7. Plus 3 on transposing it becomes minus 3. 2x equal to 7 minus 3 means 4. Here into 2. On transposing it becomes divided by 2. So x equal to 4 by 2. 2 table 2 1s are 2. 2 2 are 4. So x value is 2 which is not solution for the given question. See now fourth one. 2 into x plus 1 equal to 4. 2 into x plus 2 into 1 is 2 that equals to 4. Plus 2 on transposing it becomes minus 2. So 2x equal to 4 minus 2. That implies 2x equal to 4 minus 2 means 2. That implies... Here multiplied by 2 on transposing it becomes divided by 2. 2 table 2 1 time cancel. So x equal to 1. So it is also not a solution. Therefore our answer is option B. That is x equal to minus 2. See now first question third one. If a and b are positive integers then the solution of the equation ax equal to b will always be a positive number take to number 1 or 0. Our answer is option A positive number. If A and B are positive integers and B value is less than A, then AX plus or minus B is also a positive integer. See now first question. Fourth sum, the equation which can't be solved in integers is first one 2 into X minus 3 equal to 10. Option B, X by 3 equal to 5. Option C, 5 minus 3M equal to 1. Option D, 2K plus 1 equal to 1. Out of all these four equations, we have to find which equation solution is not an integer. Let us see the solution. First equation we have taken 2 into x minus 3 that equals to 10. 2 into x, 2x minus 2 into 3, 6 that equals to 10. Minus 6 on transposing it becomes plus 6. That implies 2x equal to 10 plus 6. That implies 2x equal to 10 plus 6 is 16. Here multiplied by 2 on transposing it becomes divided by. So write on x equal to 16 by 2. 2 table 2 1s are 2. 2 8s are 16. So the x value is 8 which is a in this term. See next one. x by 3 equal to 5. Here divided by 3 on transposing it becomes multiplied by 3. That implies x equal to 5 into 3. That implies x equal to 5 3 is 15. Here 15 is also an integer. See now third equation 5 minus 3m equal to 1. That implies plus 5 on transposing it becomes minus 5. That implies minus 3m equals to 1 minus 5. 
that implies minus 3m equals to 1 minus 5 that is minus 4. Here multiplied by value minus 3. On transposing it becomes divided by minus 3. So m equals to minus 4 by minus 3. Minus minus cancel. Therefore m value is equal to 4 by 3. 4 by 3 is not a integer. See now fourth equation 2k plus 1 equal to 1. 2k equals to plus 1 on transposing it becomes minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. That implies 2k is equal to 0. On both sides we have divided by 2. 2 to cancel here k equals to 0 by 2 or 0 by any number is 0. Therefore k value is equal to 0. So 0 is also an integer. So our question is the equation which can't be solved in integers is option C. See now first question fifth one which of the following is not allowed in a given equation. Option A adding the same number to both sides of the equation. Option B subtracting the same number from both sides of the equation. Option C multiplying both sides of the equation by the same non-zero number. And option D dividing both sides of the equation by the same number. Here option D is not allowed. Why? Because dividing both sides of the equation by the same non-zero number. Here they are given by the same number. So option D is not allowed. So the answer is here option D. See now question number 2. Fill in the blanks first sum. If 2y minus 1 equal to 5 then value of 5y plus 3 is how much? Let us see the solution. Here given equation is 2y minus 1 equal to 5. Minus 1 on transposing it becomes plus 1. So that implies 2y equals to 5 plus 1. That implies 2y equal to 5 plus 1 is 6. Here multiplied by 2 on transposing it becomes divided by. So write on y equal to 6 by 2. 2 table 2 ones are 2. 2 threes are 6. That implies y value is equal to 3. Now let us substitute this y value equal to 3 in other equation 5y plus 3. That equals to 5 into 3 plus 3. That equals to 5 threes are 15 plus 3. That equals to 18. Therefore the value of 5y plus 3 is 18. See now second question second sum. Changing of term from one side of equation to other side is called transposition. See now third one, if the sum of two numbers is 60, one is thrice the other, then the equation formed is, see here they have given sum of two numbers is 60. Let one of the number is x, thrice the other means 3x. So x plus 3x is equal to 60, that implies x plus 3x is 4x, that equal to 60. Therefore the equation is x plus 3x equal to 60 or 4x is equal to 60. See now second question fourth one. If x is a natural number then the solution of x minus 8 that equals to minus 8 is. Let us see the solution. Given equation is x minus 8 that equals to minus 8. We have added plus 8 on both sides. x minus 8 plus 8 that equals to minus 8 plus 8. Minus 8 plus 8 cancelled. Again minus 8 plus 8 cancelled. So x value is equal to 0 which is not a natural number. Therefore, the given equation has no solution. See now, second question, fifth one. 13 subtracted from twice of a number gives 3. Then the number is. Let us see the solution they have given. 13 is subtracted from twice a number. Let the number be x. Twice a number means 2x. 13 is subtracted from twice a number. That means 2x minus 13 gives 3 that equals to 3. That implies let us add 13 on both sides. 2x minus 13 plus 13 that equals to 3 plus 13. Minus 13 plus 13 cancelled. Write on 2x equal to 3 plus 13 is 16. Let us divide by 2 on both sides. Here 2 to cancel. x equal to 2 ones are 2. 2 eights are 16. So the x value is 8. Then the given number is here 8. See now question number 3. Check whether the value given in the brackets is a solution to the given equation or not. Question number A is 2n plus 5 that equals to 19 where n equals to 7. Let us see the solution. Given equation is 
2n plus 5 equal to 19 when n value is equal to 7. Let us substitute n equals to 7 in the given equation. Add on 2 into 7 plus 5. RHS part that is right hand side is 19. That implies 2 into 7, 14 plus 5. That equals to 19. That implies 14 plus 5 is 19. Right hand side is 19. That implies left hand side is equal to right hand side that is LHS is equal to RHS. So n equal to 7 is the solution for the given equation. See now third question B sum 3m by 5 minus 7 equal to 1 when m value is equal to 10. Let us see the solution given equation is 3m by 5 minus 7 equal to 1 when m value is equal to 10. Let us substitute this m value equal to 10 in the given equation. Write down 3 into 10 by 5 minus 7 that equal to 1. That implies 5 table 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. Now multiply 3 into 2 minus 7 equal to 1. That implies 3 twos are 6 minus 7 that equal to 1. That implies 6 minus 7 is minus 1 that equal to 1 which is not equal. Therefore LHS that is left hand side is not equal to RHS that is right hand side. Therefore, m equal to 10 is not a solution for the given equation. See now fourth question. Solve 5 minus 2k equals to minus 3 using trial and error method. Let us see the solution. In this table form we have taken 4 columns k value LHS is equal to 5 minus 2k. RHS is equal to minus 3 is LHS is equal to RHS or not. First we have taken k value as 0. We have substituted this 0 in LHS that is 5 minus 2k that equals to 5 minus 2 into k value is 0. That equals to 5 minus 2 into 0 is 0. So 5 minus 0 is 5. RHS is minus 3. Therefore LHS value is not equal to RHS. Now k value is equal to 1. So substitute k equals to 1. 5 minus 2 into 1 that equals to 5 minus 2 into 1 is 2. Let us subtract 5 minus 2 is 3 but RHS value is minus 3. So here also LHS value is not equal to RHS. See now k value is equal to 2. 5 minus 2k that equals to 5 minus 2 into 2 that equals to 5 minus 2 2 is 4. Now subtract 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. But RHS value is equal to minus 3. Here also LHS is not equal to RHS. See now K value is equal to 3. 5 minus 2K that equals to 5 minus 2 into 3. That equals to 5 minus 2 3 is a 6. 5 minus 6 answer is minus 1. But RHS is minus 3. Here also LHS is not equal to RHS. Now we have taken K value is equal to 4. 5 minus 2 into 4 that equals to 5 minus 2 4 is a 8. Now we have to subtract 5 minus 8 is minus 3. RHS value is minus 3. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. K value equal to 4 is the solution for the given equation. See now question number 5. Write the following equations in mathematical statement form. See now question number A. 2m plus 7 that equals to 21. That is 7 more than twice of m is 21. See now question number B n by 7 that equals to 4 that is 1 7 of n is 4. See now question number 6 give the steps you will use to separate the variables and then solve the equation. See question number a 7 into x minus 3 that equals to 28. Let us see the solution given equation is 7 into x minus 3 equal to 28. Let us multiply by 7. So the equation is 7x minus 21 equal to 28. Let us add 21 on both sides. Now write down 7x minus 21 plus 21 that equals to 28 plus 21. Minus 21 plus 21 cancel. Write down 7x equal to 28 plus 21 is 49. Now divide by 7 on both sides. Write down 7x by 7 that equals to 49 by 7. Here 7, 7 cancel. 7 ones are 7. 7, 7 are 49. That implies x equal to 7. Therefore, x equal to 7 is the solution for the given equation.
See now, sixth question be some 8y minus 9 that equal to 15. Let us see the solution. Given equation is 8y minus 9 equal to 15. Let us add 9 on both sides. Write down 8y minus 9 plus 9 that equals to 15 plus 9. Minus 9 plus 9 cancel. Write down 8y equals to 24. Divide by 8 on both sides. 8y by 8 that equals to 24 by 8. Here 8, 8 cancelled. y equals to 8 ones are 8, 8 threes are 24. Therefore y value is equal to 3. Therefore y equal to 3 is the solution for the given equation. Today we have seen chapter 3 simple equations. Unit exercise 1 to 6 sums. In our next video, we shall see remaining sums of unit exercise. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.